It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Yes, you will, precious. You will get the hose. The Silence of the Lambs Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins star in this psychological thriller. A thriller that was both shocking and morbidly intriguing. A story that delves deep into the minds of psychopaths, serial killers, in an all-to-see, all-to-hear way. Hopkins' Hannibal Lecter is both sinister and cunning. His intelligence only hampered by the fact that he is completely off his rocker. Nuts? His M.O. being that he eats his victims, earning him the tag name Hannibal the Cannibal. The guy is it's just strange. He once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Jodie Foster's portrayal of trainee FBI agent Clarice Starling is excellent. She's confident but somewhat green. New to this, her boss at the FBI is only interested in using her to talk to Lecter. But she has other ideas. She wants to catch the plot's serial killer. Not just question Lecter. Clarice is put in some pretty uncomfortable positions. This film was made in 1991 so some of these scenes were risky. From her first meeting with Lecter, when another inmate, Multiple Mix, makes himself known in a very yuck kind of moment, to the final confrontation with our main antagonist, Buffalo Bill. It rubs the lotion on its skin, it does this whenever it's told. Okay, okay, okay. Ted Levine plays Buffalo Bill. This guy is Norman Bates on steroids, a transvestite that isn't happy in his own skin. So, instead of putting on a frock, he mutilates large women in order to skin them. The novel from Thomas Harris heavily borrows from real-life murderers. Ed Gein, Ted Bundy, and this shows in unsettling fashion with Buffalo Bill. How a twisted mind can perform the most gruesome acts to fulfill his needs to transform into what he can never be. A woman, making Bill extremely dangerous and unpredictable. The Silence of the Lambs was a commercial and critical success, picking up multiple Oscars, including Best Director for Jonathan Den, Best Actor for Anthony Hopkins, and Best Actress for Jodie Foster, showing audiences worldwide that horror can come from within. Any average Joe, it's scary because it's based on actual serial killers. Brought to the big screen, given a stellar cast and script and hooks you in. Let's not forget Buffalo Bill actor Ted Levine. What did he get, you ask? Please subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching.